you guys could stop on by to take a look at our new review on two new characters that just came out from Todd McFarlane. We were able to get one of these Battle Sisters and one of these Blood Angels Hell Blasters. Hell yeah guys, let's take them out of the box and let's get into it. Let's go Mandos! Woo! Alright guys, McFarlane's been making some cool toys lately. The DC Multiverse has got some hit or misses with some articulation, with some design, design choices, but I really gotta say, these Warhammer toys, honestly, look super awesome. They really, really do. Today on forecast, or what we're looking at, <laughs> or on the menu, is going to be this Hell Blaster. That's what they're called, right? Yeah, Hell Blaster Blood Angel. He looks super sick. We're gonna take him out of box and see what he looks like. Give you the full freaking review on that sucker. Then also, we got a Battle Sister, and she looks super awesome. My wife was like taking a look at her and looking at the skulls and the cross. Yeah, honestly, McFarlane's got a really good sense of detail when it comes to those little nuanced things. Let's get these suckers out of the boxes. Let's go. All right, let's open it from the bottom. This box isn't the perfect. No, so I got this on Walmart. It's not even advertised for full price. It's $19.99, doesn't have the full name. They also have the gold label one. I do want to get one of those. I don't want to pay 50 bucks for it. I think it's the better of looking at the Hell Blasters or what have you, but this one's a good one too. If you look at the other ones on the box, I'm not so much more for these like a, uh, these, what do they call them? Artist proofs. I don't dig those, I want the color. I don't care about the proof of work. I can already see the proof of work right here and it looks pretty damn good to me. I like the, dig the big bulky guns. It reminds me of um, Gears of War. So yeah, super cool. I know this is, Warhammer 40k is based off a tabletop game. There's also a lot of video games and RPGs and storybooks and a lot of lore that goes along with this. We can just go like that. That was pretty cool how I did that thing. Pull him out. He looks pretty sick. That jetpack thing, it looks tight. Feels good in your hand. Bolter, I think that's what they call their guns. It looks super sick. I think it feels chunky in my hand. I can feel it. <laughs> looks tight. It's got the scope and everything on it. Cool. Let's get the big daddy out and so, the hell blast out. It feels good. Alright, that's being a little iffy. We got it. Yeah, he feels really, really good. Like, he's, like, already posing himself. Yeah, he feels really good. Oh, I like how his hand is, like, already pre-posed, like, to hold the gun. And then, if you look at his eyes, I don't know if this is paint or it's meant to be like it. But look at his eyes. Did they forget to paint one side of his eyes? That's crazy. Let's take a look. No, that's the way it looks like in the in here. His right eye isn't painted. So that's how it is. Looks cool as hell. Let's put that gun in his hand. Big old gun. Big old honker. How in the hell? You have to fit it in between right there. Got a trigger finger right there. That looks pretty good. Like I said, I like that he can hold it. But the gun just slipped out of his hand. So yeah, a couple times slipping in there gets kind of easier. I really dig how his hand like automatically like falls right there with it. Yeah, looks tight. 
So I've had a lot of multiverse characters and a lot of McFarlane characters, but like he feels really good. Like, like even look how his joints bend at his knees. Like that's all under his armor, that extra piece right there. You won't even see it. It doesn't even have to be there. And like the detail on the armor pieces inside the look too. I don't know what that is. This little amulet, this little blood thing. It looks so tight. The freaking detail on the wings. Let me get out of the light so you can take a look at that. Like, look at that. Oh, look, let's put a jetpack on. Yeah, dude, I'm actually really, like, really, really, um... Yeah, dude, this shit is sick as hell, dude. Dude, look at the detail on him, dude. It's sick, dude. And the pivot on his boots. Oh, yeah, that boot looks good. He doesn't have that stupid, that stupid nose thing that I don't understand what they have, but they have this right here, this little arm piece. Like, oh, man, he feels really good. This guy feels really good. Super good. I dig it. Hella poseable. Get him, boys. And like his feet and his base is so big, super easy to pose him. He looks freaking awesome. I dig this character. Full 360 spin. Check out his freaking belt right here. We got two pouches right there on it. Armor. Looks sick. The drop of blood, the freaking electrical shock thing. And like I said, it looks really sick. Let's take the gun out of his hand. Looks super freaking awesome. Normally, I like to keep these guys in boxes, but this is one of the characters that you really gotta take out. Also, they have articulation on these shoulder pads. Super nice, they go up and down. Like, yeah, Tom McFly knows what he's doing. Did he really put some time and effort on these? Like, he really wants, I don't wants an award or what's he trying to do here? But damn, this thing feels better than most of the freaking DC multiverse and all this articulation. That's crazy. And it has all this armor pieces, even the armor and like what you can lack in articulation. Yeah. And then like right here, there's a little thing right here, a little pressure thing on his head. One second. You can go look down, up, see how it goes up. And this part goes down too, like this part right here. That's crazy. That's cool. Cool as shit. I hella dig it. <laughs> now, only thing my gripes is, maybe we can get an extra hand in here. And he only came with just that big old rifle. Don't get me wrong though, that bolter is sick as heck. And the way you can hold it, super prime. One more time. Boom, it's got the trigger finger. And the trigger figure goes right in there. Check that out. Yeah, this is a great, great. Besides it's super heavy for it to hold. He needs both hands on it. Especially if it's gonna go in that finger hold position. So let's put his arm out for it. Get that ready. Put that arm under there. Oh, looks sick as hell. Hell yeah. I really dig him. And he's seven inches. He looks really cool. Let's get the sister out. <laughs> Next up, we got the battle sister. So, Ren, I was really, really enamored by that hell blaster. <laughs> he's super sick. That blood angel. But this Hell Sister, her details are look off the freaking charts. Check out that box heart. Looking so sick on the side there. And she looks super sick in that picture there. The posability just looks freaking top notch right here. McFarlane, hats off to you. And I'm about to get some freaking Mortal Kombat toys thanks to you. Hell yeah. Mortal Kombat. Let's get those suckers. Right before the movie comes out too. Behan, Noob Sabat. Oops. Boom. Damn, she looks super nice. Dude, that sword has weight to it. It feels really, really cool. I hella dig that.
same thing for the bolter. Look how they put the detail in the bolts right there on the clip. And then you have like the little wee blow sign. Like I forgot, I think Toy Bro said. And this chainsaw sword, off the hook. Let's pull her out. These are like the nuns, space nuns, space warrior nuns. Oh yeah, she feels really good. She's got that cape there, it's reminiscent or feeling of uh, Wonder Woman. I don't like the pointy boot feet thingies. That's not one of my, my my likes of the McFarlane's. And this freaking, this knee thing, I don't like as much. What's funny is I thought of the two characters I would like this one the most. My biggest gripe to McFarlane is their freaking, their legs. But, I'm not going to lie, the detail on these legs are a lot more than freaking most of the McFarlane characters. Another thing too is when you feel it. Right here in the centerpiece, it's like all soft and squishy, so I don't know if that's like hollow or if it's meant to be like that, but it feels weird. And it kind of looks weird because like it's like indenting right there. I don't like that. All right, well, it doesn't feel as good as the other one right off the back, but there's a lot of details in it, and I think that's what has a lot to do with it. So let's get into the details. Right to that cross and crucifixion with the skull. Top notch. And then the helmet looks really sick. We got the backpack. I don't know if the backpack comes off. It doesn't come off. I'm not trying to pull it off. I don't want to break it off. Then we have the freaking Weeblow sign again. Looks really cool on the arm things. These don't move. They stay where they're at. So not as much articulation. Now these gauntlet looks tight too. Once again, they have the symbols right there. And then they have this plastic it looks cool then we have like these little grenades right here and pouches looks tight sweet like i said i don't dig this one as much but let's check it out with its accessories it looks cool it just doesn't feel as high quality as this guy right here this guy dude when you put him in your hand that's a solid piece of plastic like you feel proud to hold this this one Mm, not so much. It looks cooler detail-wise, but this one feels like the product. All right. Let's go ahead and put the sword in here. I'm going to open that sucker up. All right, so with the sword, she looks a lot tighter already. So her accessories are what's like her redeeming factor. She looks super sick. She doesn't feel as good, but the fact that you can put the trigger fingers like that inside the things, I really dig that. That part is super sick, how they made their hands. She can go loked out. Oh, she looks kind of sick. All right, getting back with the sister. Her accessories are off the hook. Her details are super awesome. I like how they have the freaking Weeblow sign or that that freaking old like Maltese looking sign. It looks super sick. Her backpack is awesome. I like the detail and texture on her red leather cape. I kind of wish they had a little more gold like on the belts and stuff over here, but that's fine. All the detail they have on the weapons look really, really cool. Yeah, they look super off the hook. Yeah, she looks badass. Space Nun. They look really awesome together. I freaking super dig them. All right, let's pull out some other characters to compare their size. Since they're seven inches, let's bring some seven inches to show their reference. All right, guys, say what's up to Menem. And check out the gang here. So we got some seven inch figures to line with these guys next to. Let's take a look. So next we got the seven inch predator right here. Looking super sick. Boom. Let's post them up next to each other. So the predator stands way taller than she does. And let's put them next to 
Mr. Space Marine. So they're a little, little bit almost taller, but that Predator still stands taller than both of them. Let's bring Mr. Batman over here. And Batman, he's seven inches and he stands with his legs spread right where the other one stands. So good, a good feeling for McFarlane Universe there. Boom, put it here next to Batman. Let's take a look right here. Kind of like a sending order, right? Small, medium, large, extra large. Right? Batman. So let's take a look at him right quick. Hell yeah. Honestly, I really dig this character. He's got hella, hella detail in it. There goes our companion cube. I really dig all the detail right there and the feathering. His face is sick. The gun is super freaking fantastic. The feel of the armor looks tight. The overall character looks sick. The presentation's great. The feel is great. The sister, she does, She feels like a regular um, DC multiverse when it comes to legs. Kind of flimsy and hard, a little difficult to stand. But once you find that sweet spot, she gets kind of easy, right? Boom, right there, right? And she looks super sick with her accessories. And all the detail they put into her, it makes up for anything else. And there's nothing wrong with it. I just really feel like that big bulky design on the Warhammer characters lends itself to the Tom McFarlane style. And overall, it's like winning me. Like all the little detail and nuance, it just feels really good. It almost feels like a Gundam, like suit, <laughs> toy. And like, I just want to play with it and, and like pose it and do stuff with it. It looks really good and really fun. And overall, just a great figure. Honestly, my first favorite, favorite figure was always this NECA right here. It's always bring him out to compare. I love the, the detail right there and the way he looks. He's super awesome with the LED lights and the eyes. But you know, we got a freaking dueler here. Let's battle. We're not gonna stand for this. And if you guys like, please hit that subscribe and hit that like button. The thumbs up always help. And like always, may the nerf be with you. <laughs> Hell yeah, Mandos. Peace out.